家多，我就问就佢为什么咁样？佢咁样咁样竟然冇报复数，转世我。我你没有用装机我Sweetie, hey, honey bunch, how's it going? It'll be a lot better when you get here because guess what time it is? <gasps> oh no! Yeah. True crime boo time. True crime boo time. Yay! Yay! Okay, I will be right there. You want anything, babe? I'm good, sweetie. No. Decide. Decide. Up next, we travel to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh, wait, stop there. They mentioned Albuquerque. Oh, cool. <laughs> Welcome to True Crime Daily. I'm Bill Late Again. Mysterious disappearances. No clues found. But what if it was no mystery at all? What if it was someone they knew and they trusted? What if it was a town hero who they shared their lives with every day? What if it was John Jones? Oh, God. oh, come on! This is ridiculous. Come on! This is obviously some kind of low-budget smear piece. I mean, you know, this is. Come on! Let's let's watch The Bachelor. No. Keep it here. I want to hear it. Okay, but this must be some kind of filler crap or something. I mean, they must have ran out of crimes for the day. I mean, you know, I mean, shh. John was very isolated as a young boy, closed off from the others, and the signs of something brewing under the surface began to show. Yeah, man, John was always a little funny as a kid. This one time, the teacher asked us to bring in something about someone we admire. The other kids, I mean, you know, they brought in, like, Power Rangers and Star Wars and stuff. Well, John, he brought in a giant mural of Ted Bundy. Freaked us all out, man. John had a pet turtle and one day chicken hawk come down and take it away. Well, John won't take him there. He went around, killed every dang chicken hawk in the whole state. To this day, they're still extinct. But things were just getting started. When we come back from commercial, we'll talk about John Jones as a young adult. Ah, oh, come on, hun. How much of this crap are we going to watch? I mean, come on, you know, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills has got to be on somewhere. Come on, I'm going to find it. John Jones, don't touch that channel. In high school, John dominated in wrestling and was the champion of the state every year. Yeah, John was a beast, no doubt about that, but don't make him angry. John had these pair of goofy looking shoes he wore all the time, and this one kid made fun of him. Long story short, the kid was found on top of the school stuffed in an air conditioner unit with John's shoes stuffed in his mouth. No one's seen the kid since, he moved to Australia or something. Kid was so spooked he had to move to the other side of the planet from John Jones. Mr. Jones was not one who took kindly to being punished. I suspended him for beating up the entire rugby team. Coincidentally, the very next day, someone, who has never been caught, built brick walls in front of all the entrances to my house. 
Have you ever needed a bulldozer to get through your front door? And the patterns of violence and mystery continue to spill over into John's college years. Okay, this is enough. This is just... Come on, let's watch Honey Boo Boo. No, John. We are watching every minute. This is ruining true crime boo time. In 2006, John attended Iowa Central Community College. Mysterious occurrences continued to hover around John like a black cloud of death. I had to stop letting John roll around with other guys. He put 12 in the hospital. One guy still hasn't got his arms or legs wrapped from around him. He looks like something you would get at a Yankee game with mustard. I was roommates with John in college and it sucked. He was lame and a psycho and he drove off all the chicks. There was no beautiful bodacious babes anywhere. He had absolutely no interest in beautiful bodacious babes. But the biggest mystery of John's college life is the absolute massacre of an entire fraternity. No one was arrested, but lo and behold, John was there. I knew that guy was trouble from the moment I saw. He's never been caught, but it was him. It was... Ow. Ow. John was an outsider. I mean, the only... <laughs> The only friends he had were guys like this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, Bill, late again. Jan! Now let's flash to modern day, where the puzzles don't stop and they just don't add up. Everywhere he goes, he leaves a trail of murder, but yet, he walks free. Among us. Why, he might even be with one of you right now. Oh, oh, come on, Jesse. This is all a smear campaign. It's set up by, by McDonald's or something. I don't know. McDonald's? What are you talking about? They never brought back the McMelt. I campaigned for years. They never brought it back with the grilled onions I like. They're monsters. You just shut up. We're watching every minute of this. Grrr. Justin Gaethje. UFC star, family man, dog lover, all of that came to an end on a family vacation one day in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the same town that John Jones lives. Oh, shut up, Justin. I just came in to cut the lights off. Be right back. I gotta hit the bathroom. That energy drink just ran right through me. I'll be back, boy. Hello, Justin. What the? Oh, John, what are you doing here, bro? You scared the heck out of me. The heck? <laughs> oh, Justin, I could probably scare a lot more out of you than just heck if I really tried. Well, I probably could scare internal organs out of you if I wanted to. I mean, or whatever, you know. <laughs> what is all this about, John? Oh, I don't know. I... Heard through the grapevine that you told Dana that I was a, how do you say, a, a loose cannon. What? Oh, come on, bro. I would never say that about you, John. Oh, good. That is just so good to hear. I thought my dumb old ears were just hearing things. Hey, while I got you here, would you believe that Legos came out with an MMA Lego set? What? Don't lie to me, dog. For realsies. Why, I even have a set here in the bathroom. You have a set of MMA Legos in a public park bathroom? Well, yeah. Doesn't everybody? Okay, then let's go check it out. Where is it? Right over there. Where? <laughs> okay, how much more of this crap are we going to listen to, baby boo? Shh. This is just crazy. There is absolutely nothing that connects me to Justin Gaethje. Right, boy? But Justin isn't the only fighter who's gone missing. Miami, Florida. After a simple radio interview was completed by Jake Paul, that happened to be a call out to Mr. Jones, Jake still hasn't been seen to this day. You can't tell me John Jones didn't have anything to do with the disappearance of Jake Paul. 
who incidentally is one of my biggest clients. It isn't the first time either. Shaq spent one hour with John Jones, ended up an alligator's lunch. And that's not all in the wake of the John Jones wave of terror. UFC superstar Derek Lewis, who was scheduled to fight John Jones, was found in his locker room with his head exploded. Coincidence? I think not. <sighs> hey honey, can you do me a favor? Can you grab me a drink real quick? I would, but this darn leg is just, oh, it's just so cramped from practice. Okay, but John, don't change the channel. Oh, I won't, honey bunch. Here's your drink. Ah, uh, look, honey, see, I told you. This was all just a work of make-believe. Oh, I'm sorry, boo. I didn't mean to be such a grump grump. Oh, it's okay, sugar britches. I wub you. I wub you. You know what this was another great night of? True, True crime boo time! In the dawn of the light when they see the day Death and destruction every day Murder and mayhem all the way I don't even know what to say Oh, gosh. <laughs>